Hi, I'm Odin and welcome to DIY Prop Shop where we recreate props using everyday materials without breaking the bank. But before we begin, I'd like to say a few words. Nitwit, blubber, oddmit, tweak. Thank you. What I'm going to build today is the Golden Snitch from the Harry Potter movies. Now the Golden Snitch is the smallest of the three balls used in the wizarding game called Quidditch. And Harry Potter played the position of the Seeker, and it was the Seeker's job to catch the Snitch, which would then end the game, and his team would win. Now in the movies, the Golden Snitch prop was just a small ball. It was gold and had some details on it, and that's all it was. They added the wings in using a computer later on. What I want to do is build a prop that's in the spirit of the movies that has physical wings that we can actually see now. The Snitch is described as being about walnut size. So what I want to do is start with a ping pong ball and then work on it from there. These only cost me about a quarter each. Now the Golden Snitch has all sorts of ridges and lines all over the outside of it. It kind of looks like the grill off of an old car. So I thought I would use the tiny wires off of a set of earbuds, the little in-ear headphones. I picked up a package from the dollar store. These things have got the smallest little wires that I've seen. The plan is to cut the earbuds off the ends because I don't need those. And then separate the wires and super glue it to the ping pong ball. I don't need the plug either. Now I'll have a total of six feet of a tiny gauge wire. So I'm going to use super glue, the same type you use for remote control cars or war game miniatures. And then I've got an accelerator. What this does is it sets up the glue immediately. What you want to be sure you don't do is set it up immediately to your finger. One of the other things I wanted to do is attach a magnet to the bottom of the ping pong ball. What I want to use is the small rare earth magnets. These little suckers are really strong. This whole package I picked up for three bucks a while ago. So I just want one. Take just one magnet. I'm going to super glue this to the bottom of the ping pong ball. Single drop. I'm going to go ahead and use the seam of the ping pong ball because it should be the strongest part of the ping pong ball. So I got the magnet attached. I'm going to put a little more super glue around the outside. Blast this. So what I want to do, grab the bolt. I thought if I drilled a hole in a piece of wood, I'd set the whole thing down. No, nah, I can just hold it like this. That's fine. The front of the snitch has almost a pair of wing type of decorations on them. So I think I'm going to put a small drop to start it. Because they're symmetrical, I'm a little worried about making sure that whatever I do is symmetrical. I'm adding more glue around the edges of the wires because the glue is filling up the gap in between the, the wire and the sphere of the ping pong ball itself. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take the other wire, try and make it as symmetrical as I can. It's pretty close. Another good use of the magnet is, to, for me, for reference, where I want the bottom to be. Oh, and by the way, I said not to glue it to your finger. Yeah, remember not to do that. I'm not too worried about this because it'll peel right off. Uh, at least it should. Yeah, it's got a good grip. Come on. Oh yeah, that feels good. So that little bit of me that's stuck on the snitch right there, I'm gonna have to take a knife and scrape that off or a little bit of sandpaper and sand it out because once it's painted, it'll be really obvious it's there. As I look at it, eh, the sides aren't exactly equal. One's a little bigger. I'm just gonna live with it. it looks like these two just make a, a little circle. I'm gonna cut my wire. So I'll just glue that together. Hopefully I can do this without attaching me to it. And a little more to Fill in the gap, and then try and do the other side as close as I can. And now I have the first two sides. These two, as I look at the picture, are uh, filled with uh, horizontal lines when the ball is oriented correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and lay in one middle one and then a couple others on top and bottom. I think the real prop has more lines. I'm just going to do the three. So I'm going to drop right in the front. Big old glob. Keeping my finger safe. There. There we are. Okay. Now I can glue the wire on. One of the things I want to try and do, something I used to do a lot with my war game miniatures, is actually use the super glue to help fill in the gaps in between the wires. Because they're not really supposed to be there. So there's the two side grills, but I'm concerned that I actually put them on a little too high. So what I think I'm gonna to do to correct that is I'm gonna pop the magnet off and move it forward so I can have a little more space here in the top. Well, one thing I'm happy about, this has got a much better bond than I thought it did. There it is. I 
I'm not worried about the residue that's on the magnet. There's a rough spot for my first glue. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, glue it there. So it looks like the lines in the top. Uh, it creates kind of a diamond in what would be the forehead. And uh, it comes down and it swoops up and around to the back. By utilizing the seam of the ping pong ball, I actually have a line to help line this up. Drop on here, because I already know where I want to start. Glue it to the top, right? So I can keep going with this, because I know on the actual prop, there's a lot more little lines all over it. There's little sweeps that come up the backside here and across the bottom, little areas where when the wings fold up, they have a place to go. But I think I've got the majority of what I need as far as these lines go. What I want to do next is take a couple of little gold beads that I picked up and glue those on right here and right over here, and that's where the wings attach. He got these for at the 99 cent store because that's where he buys everything. Actually, I didn't. I bought this at the craft store and it was half off making it 99 cents. Awesome. <laughs> so I got a couple of very small gold beads. In order to control these, I'm going to use a thumbtack. I'm going to just skewer the bead where the thread would normally go. So I can position the hole on the bead. So when I put the wing in, it'll actually be kind of going the right way to begin with. My fear is having Cookie Monster eyes when it comes to these being on here. Well, it actually doesn't look so bad. So next what I want to do is put a little more glue around the base of each of the beads, because I don't want it to be just a dot sitting on top of the ping pong ball. All I gotta do now, go outside and paint it. I wanna make physical wings for my golden snitch, because I don't wanna to have to animate in computer ones all day, every day. What I found to use are these plastic feathers. These were. These are discounted, left over from old Christmas stock. Be perfect for me. They're too big, of course, the way they are. And yeah, I think that'll be all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, put the wire cutters first, because there's a wire in there. And I'm just gonna... Now I'm deglittering them because when I picked these up, I thought the whole thing was gold. Then I looked at the pictures again and realized, now the wings are silver, the body's gold. I'm gonna give these a little bit of a haircut, and I'm gonna go outside and paint them too. So I'm gonna spend a moment and try and knock a lot of the, gold, the glitter off. That one was easy, but this one's got a lot. If you can't find this type of a feather, the craft store that you're at. Other ideas that I had, I was actually looking at artificial plants. I thought maybe a piece of fern would work. Something else I had in mind was some scrapbooking paper. And I figured I could cut my wing shape out of that and glue a bit of wire across the top. Now that my spray paint is dry, I can go ahead and attach the wings to my snitch. That's a golden snitch. There isn't much else I need to do to it, except that I don't like the base it's on. It needs to be something a little nicer. And then, in order to decorate it a little better, I picked up some vellum, also from the scrapbook section of the craft store and I ran this with my printer and made a little golden stitch sign. I can spray mount this to a piece of cardboard and attach it to the front. What I want to do with this is taking this black bolt, I'm going to drill a hole here and sort of hide the thread to the bolt. I'm going to use a drinking straw. I'm going to spray paint it black, cut it to fit, hot glue this in place, and then the magnet will be able to attach and the wire and the wings will let me adjust them so I can put the lid back on. I'm gonna hold the end because I don't want to break the bead off the ping pong ball or break the uh, wing out of the bead. So I'm holding onto that and I'm bending against my fingers, trying to get the wings to kind of go up a little bit. I think it's gonna look better going up inside. Now that I got my plaque spray mounted on a piece of cardboard, all I need to do is cut this out and glue it onto the front. Now I'm gonna use a ruler and a straight edge. You can do this with a pair of scissors if you'd like. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut right on the line. So I'll take this, hot glue it in place, inside the glass, up against the straw, and we'll have our specimen. And here's my golden snitch. The snitch itself cost me less than $4 to build, and the case was only $13. Total cost of this build, $17. And honestly, it turned out better than I expected. Let us know in the comments below what you think, and if you have any ideas for a project that we should do in the future. 
If you try any of these builds yourself, send us a picture at DIYPropShop at Break.com. In fact, we thought we would share some pictures that we've received of some of our past projects. Take a look at this X-Wing pilot helmet that Brandon put together. And here's an awesome ghost trap made by Nicholas. Hey, is that one of Ollivander's wands on the wall behind it? Garrett not only made the Mark II Lancer, but he then added blood all over the chainsaw. And if this was a test at Hogwarts, Ty might be accused of using a time turner because he sent in this golden snitch. We love seeing your versions of the builds that we've done in the past and the cool props that you're coming up with. Please keep the pictures coming. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. I shouldn't have done that.